Hello everyone, welcome back to the Great Edge Workshop. We are going back to basics uh, t tonight. So talking about sharpening the, the belly uh, on, a, on a kitchen knife or the, or the, the curved section, because a, a really common question when starting out with the Tormek is what is the correct technique? The in, in, intuitive thought for, for, for reaching that, that part of the edge uh, is to is to pull straight across and then when you start to get to the to the curve section to pivot the knife around that's uh, I think that's that's everyone's first thought and when you look at this you come to this setup as, as a new sharpener that that seems like a logical thing to do um, one of the issues is that you change what the 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 edge that you're setting is influenced as I've talked about in previous videos the distance between the support bar and the the apex of the edge that you're that you're forming uh, and when you pivot the the knife you're changing the contact point of the of the support of, of the jig on the support bar and so you're changing this distance and therefore ch changing the angle so what I thought I would do uh, tonight is show you a, a comparison of what everyone that is new thinks they should do, uh, which is pivot like this versus what you are supposed to do, which is lift the handle straight up. And one of the challenges, I guess, with, with convincing people that this is the correct technique to lift uh, is because camera, when people are you know, learning about sharpening quite often on YouTube these days, the camera doesn't seem to pick it up accurately. So if you're watching somebody sharpening who isn't making a deliberate effort to point out the lift, it can sort of look. It sort of looks like a pivot. Um, if if you're if you're trying to just watch uh, and figure it out for yourself without being taught, you might think, "Oh, that's that that person's pivoting the knife." So, my solution uh, for for tonight, my two uh, workhorse knives that I that I keep in the workshop, uh, identical knives, uh, blue except for the blue handle, red handle, uh, and I've marked up the tips with. Uh, with with some sharpie, quite quite a bit of quite a bit of marker, uh, and what I'm going to do is go through the sharpening process. Well, not literally go through the whole sharpening process here, because what I'm going to do is just with the red handled knife, I'm going to pivot when I when I get to the tip, and with the blue handled knife, I'm going to lift the handle as a, as a as I should. We'll do a couple of passes, and then we'll see how the pattern looks uh, with the sharpie. I've not actually done this before. Uh, I've, I've literally just filled in the color and then switched on the camera. So uh, let's let, let's see how it goes. I know how, whoop, <laughs> sorry knife. Um, I, I know how the blue one is going to look uh, because this is the one I'm going to sharpen by lifting the handle. Um, so starting with the with the straight section, the, the flat section of the edge, set it down, set it down gently, move slightly across. And as I get towards the belly of the knife, I'm just lifting the handle straight up and away from the support bar. And the pattern that I get is, uh, the reflection's probably going to make it difficult, but all that I've removed is the marker, uh, the, the, the sharpie on the actual um, bevel of the knife. So nothing, nothing else has been removed. If I keep going over and over again, we'll, we'll see the same pattern. Oh, just uh, interestingly, I didn't go quite to the tip there. You can see there's a little bit of, um, actually, let's, let's just finish that off properly. So lift the, lift the handle up all the way until the tip. And then there, there we are. Now, <laughs> New technique <laughs> for me because uh, I because I don't actually pivot them. So let's let's see how this goes. So set it down, smooth across, and then right about now I'm gonna need to start pivoting the knife. Wow, this feels weird. Goes against all my muscle memory that I built up. One more pass. And, huh, that's interesting. Pretty much on the, on the bevel as well. So if there is a difference between these two techniques in terms of lifting or, or pivoting, it's, it's not extreme. I didn't quite know, oh, actually, 
I say that again. I'm gonna have to get a, gonna have to get a picture of this uh, to show you, but I'm not actually reaching the reaching the apex there. So um, if I feel, yeah, burr, 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 and then there's no burr in this section in this section of the knife, and that's because as I'm pivoting away. Uh, must be that the angle is going, uh, which, which way would it be? So I'm not reaching the apex anymore, so the angle is going down on, on sharpening. It's getting to be a shallower, um, uh, a, a shallower edge. If this is, if this is 15 degrees, I'm probably descending to 13, 12, something like that at, at the tip. And if I keep going, the result is going to be uh, an even bevel all the way along up to here and then as it's where it starts to switch from from the pivoting to 12 13 14 degrees the bevel is going to get wider it's not going to be not going to be very attractive but let's keep going um that's what these knives are for <laughs> Yeah, burr, 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 uh, just slight, slightly on the tip there. One more pass. Still not, still not there. But I, I will. Um, I'll, I'll take some pictures and, and, and post that. You can you can sort of see uh, if if there isn't too much glare. Nice even bevel all the way along here, and then it starts to flare out as as we get to the tip. Compare that back to the li lifting the handle. You have very even, very even uh, depth of bevel from the from the heel all the way out to the tip. Um, even, even if I keep going, I'll do another do another pass or two. Oh, I almost started pivoting. <laughs> uh oh. Habits are changing. Doesn't take long. There we go. So, um, more attractive result, I think, if you can imagine this knife without the Sharpie all over it. Uh, but also, uh, a more even result, so so much more useful, I think, to have a consistent edge angle all the way along from 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 heel to tip, which is what this one has, compared to the pivoting technique where the edge angle starts out at I think around 15 degrees at the heel and it starts to flare out to 12, 12, 13, something like that at the tip. So. Um, wasn't as dramatic as I as as I thought it might be the, the the pivoting technique in terms of the effect on the finish, but I I still think it's clear. I still think it's worth showing. Um, I've got these sacrificial knives that I use for experiments and playing around with, and I thought I would uh, share that with you. So, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel. Feel free to sub subscribe if you found this interesting. There will be uh, more to come and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.